because many of us feel uncomfortable talking about various forms of racism, some caregivers decide not to discuss it at all. This is a common yet troubling response to bias. It will not go away on its own. In fact, children in programs that represent predominantly one race have an even greater need to discuss racial bias. Remember that people fear the unknown, the untouched, and the inexperienced. Couple this fear with stereotypes and we really have a problem on our hands. Racial bias may also come in other forms such as biracial bias. Racial bias is bias against children from parents of two different races. Although biracial children are sometimes an overlooked segment of society, they are often a target of racial bias. Adults and children frequently try to categorize them as the race they most closely resemble. It is not necessary for us to define a child's race. It is necessary for parents and teachers to explore with the child where she or he comfortably fits or identifies racially. Some children may prefer to be biracial. Others may identify more with one particular race. Don't put us in a box and limit who we are said by a biracial child.